Today I'm at Logie Timber in the Highlands of Scotland, a young sawmilling firm producing sustainable softwood and hardwood products, but with a focus on locally produced hardwood, and which recently has made a significant investment in this. This new saw line from Meber represents a huge step forward for the facility. We spoke to Logie Timber co-founder Mark Council about the story behind the company um, and about its hopes and ambitions for the future. I had a tree surgery company for quite a long time um, and then just we're really struggling with finding a place to get, to get a good home for hardwood timber. So we decided to set up a sawmill. I met Alec Lane, whose family owned Logie Estate, and we set up the sawmill as a partnership between the two of us um, back in 2017, um, and I've just grown ever since. We had a, a big opening in 2019 from the Timber Festival, and then, yeah, just, just kind of grown and expanded and, um, to, to, the, to the kind of mess that you see behind you now. The big machine that you can see behind us here is the, is the Mibor wide band saw mill. Um, so it's got 200 mil wide bands on it, uh, blades on it. And then the log deck feeds the material on from the other side there. Once the material's been cut, and the idea is we, we'll cut the back off, which is the top piece of the log, which is the waste. It moves along, it goes along, and then drops off automatically into the chip line. And there's a chipper just behind the wall behind us here that turns everything into biomass chip and sawdust. Um, and then the idea being it just to try and maximize the speed of the process we've put a multi-rip machine in which is a VR 1300 um, so that sits over on the far side so the mill cuts basically the top off the log flips it and then cuts the bottom off the log to make a square 150 mil wide billet with the bark still on the side that then travels across it goes through the, the VR which is uh, a load of circular saw blades all stacked next to each other and it will cut the billet down into 22 mil boards by 150 in one single pass. The material then slides off and comes onto the outfeed table which you can see over there. Any of the good material the guys take off and stick it into the trolleys. Anything that's junk and waste they don't touch it at all and it goes to the end and just falls off and goes straight back into the chip line. So it just cuts down that manual handling completely. You know that was a, our biggest our biggest mistake when we set up the original setup was the amount of manual handling that it takes. You know, every single board, every single log had to be unhandled. You know, so there's a huge time saver and a back saver for us for that, for sure. You can read a lot more about this story in an upcoming issue of Forestry Journal magazine. See more videos uh, on our various social media channels, and of course, check it all out on forestryjournal.co.uk.